YouTube.com slash Tim Westwood TV. Tim Westwood TV. LL Cool J. We're going in, baby. Yes, sir. Now, it's a blessed thing, kid. Life. Yeah. Hell yes. Yes, it is. Bless him. What's the secret, man? Um, you it's know, in the book. Well, I mean, there are things in the book, but I think ultimately you gotta just, you know, you gotta envision something great for yourself. Yeah. You gotta envision it, then you gotta form it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Create it in your mind. Go, go, mm. go after it. Have yeah. faith, determination. Yeah. Yeah. You know it. You do it. You've been doing it for years. You're a veteran at success. You've been experiencing success. You've been on the number one radio show, number one DJ, hundred thousand years. Don't it's let me interrupt you, L. Don't let me. Don't stop You're international. <laughs> You're global phenomena. What you talking about? He knows. Now, L. <laughs> now we see a lot about blinging nowadays. Yeah. This guy invented the game. <laughs> we are talking about wearing the fur coat. Yeah. Bare chested <laughs> with boxer shorts on. Yeah, looking like a boxing promoter. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Gold chain hanging out. Yeah. This guy set the blueprint for Puffy and, and everyone else to follow, man. Yeah. I mean, how crazy were you in those days? In those Kango days? No, I know, but the trend, it's disturbing in a way, isn't it? No, it's. <laughs> Um, nah, I, you know what? It was great, man. You know what I'm saying? Just doing what I wanted to do, yeah. Tim. You know, loving the, loving the fashion. You yes. know, loving the culture. You know, I've always been like that. You know, I've always liked the, you know, the clothes and the jewelry and, and the different essence. stuff. Yeah, I, I enjoy it. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But, well, you know, when I was doing that and we were doing that as far as hip hop is concerned, I wasn't doing it really to rub money in people's faces. It was more of an expression of style. It yes. wasn't about like, it wasn't so much about money. Even though we were showing off with the mm. rhymes and bragging, it was a different thing. The, I think the the meaning was a little different. You know, I wasn't trying to like, just go at people with it. It was more about my own personal expression, just being flamboyant.
Good morning. You know what I'm saying? Ghetto fabulous. Yeah, well, yeah. Celebrating dough. Yeah, well. Getting yeah. that money. Why not? You know? Why not? Why not have a toast, man? Yeah, really. A toast. And how things. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To success, baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> and for the fallen soldiers. Absolutely. God exactly. bless them, man. And for the women in the back. Oh, man. <laughs> Let them get their own. Yes, <laughs> hell yes. <laughs> get yourself at the bar, girl. I've got you. It's a Queen's thing, baby. So, what has been your favourite time in the game? Besides now? You knew I was going to say Oh, that. you know me. Um, You know what? Because, do you know why I knew that? What? L, good to see you on album number two. What's been your favourite album? This one. See you on oh, yeah. album number three. What's been your favourite? This one. Uh, <laughs> album number four. What's your favourite? This one. Uh, L, you've got a new album. What's your favourite? This one. Uh, L, yes, we're, we're actually on number 13 now, L. What's your favourite one? This Does one. They didn't promote it. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Yes. This one. Uh, they just didn't yes. promote it. Uh, yes. <laughs> Took me a minute. It was hot. They just didn't promote oh, it. Oh. <laughs> So, what would you recommend? Uh, you know what? Time? You know what? Making my first song ever. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Getting that call back from Rick Rubin and just, you know, realizing that, yeah. that we were in the dorm and now we're making a demo and then finding out that we're going to form this label. Like, Def Jam is going to be an actual mm -hmm. label now. It's not going to mm -hmm. be a production company like with Tila yes. Rock. Yes. Now we're going to make it a label yes. yeah. and they're going to make me the first, yes. the flagship artist yes. of the label, yes. so to speak. That was like crazy. That burgundy label, man. That was, oh, that was a nice ooh, launch. That was a nice ooh. blast off. Man. Yeah, and if you had a burgundy Def Jam jacket, oh, you were big in the game. Yeah, yeah, you you were you were extra heavy. Yeah. yeah. You, if you got one now, you actually that's that's money right there. Like if you got a burgundy Def Jam yeah. jacket right now, a real vintage one, can you imagine? Can I tell you a true story? Yeah. They never sent me one. Are you serious? I got a black one. Much later, when the deal was with Ireland, it was a disappointment. Are you serious? You got the Monty Lipman, <laughs> yes, black Def Jam. <laughs> That's actually the Monty one of, joint. They're one of ten thousand. <laughs> you got the Monty <laughs> joint, the full Monty <laughs> joint. Oh, oh man, man. That's so terrible. So terrible. I hate to hear that. So a video. Um, right now, being as we're talking about, we're going that first video I can show because my first time in half. Let's go with I'm bad since we took it back. Bad. I'm bad. Classic. First Classic album. hip hop kid. Understand. <laughs> Thank you, LL Cool J, it's Westwood yeah, TV, yeah. trying up? to do it, baby. No doubt. You know what I mean? Now, first things first, what I really want to stress is like what a like a superstar you are, like Thanks, what you man. mean to the game. Now, I've really known you from day one, from okay. the, you know, no from, when, from when we started, you know what I mean? We've got some definitely good memories. And, you know, we <laughs> can always reminisce with those memories. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Those wilding out days. Yeah. I mean, what I really respect about you, you was the original player. You was a player before there was like the player's game out there. And I really remember like no women were safe from themselves around you. Oh, I mean, yeah, that well, was, I uh, had those moments. I mean, you put me up on a lot of game. I ain't gonna front. You know, you, you, talked to, you talked to me about the smooth side of the shower curtain, which was, which was important for me, man. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. To yeah. really get that full glide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I you mean, know, I mean, at the end of the day, man, you know, that's just, you know, we all have our, you know, our, our hopes and our dreams and everybody mm. loves everything, you know. Mm. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that part of it, but you know, you can't have them all. You know what I mean? I let, at this point, you know, they can have the honey. I want the money, you know what I mean? Mm. Go from there. So how did you get over that, man? Because that was like, that was like, never, that was like an addiction never, for you. You're never going to get over You ain't never going to get over mm. beautiful women, but it mm. ain't about that. I got a family. Everybody knows that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So how did you move towards family values from those, those I mean, days? I mean, just, you know, I mean, family values is about love and respect, you mm. know what I'm saying? You're gonna always look and you're gonna always be tempted. I mean, that's never gonna change, mm. you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, how much do you love your family and how much are you willing to give up to have that experience? Mm. That's what you gotta think about. I mean, a lot of cats don't have families, they just ruining their careers doing that and don't know it. So it ain't even really about family, it's more about discipline and focus. It's like, you know, how much money are you taking out of your pocket when you're doing that? Like, you know, like, like, are you tricking? Are you like ruining your life? Like, should you be in the studio right now making some heat? There's probably a lot of careers that's held in the balance now because of that. So it ain't only about 
family. I mean, there are a lot of reasons to try to stay focused. Mm. You know, too much of anything could get you in trouble. I mean, loving money too much or loving money, period. I mean, you got to like it, but you don't want to love it. I mean, but, you know, me and my wife, we went through all kinds of things. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I had all types of girls and that came in and out of our relationship that we dealt with over the years. I mean, it ain't been like just me with a white collar on, you know, I couldn't even lie and say that. And it is like a drug. Definitely. It's like getting high or loving the liquor or Well, I mean, I in. never really was like a, a dude that was like on it like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't really like that. You know, a lot mm. of cats like lose their minds and, you know, hump walls and all that. You know, that ain't me. You know, I ain't go around humping the walls and all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we not that, that far I mean, with it, B. You know what I mean? I mean, I like the chicks, but I ain't humping <laughs> the walls, dog. You know what I mean? <laughs> You know what I mean? I, I ain't gonna be like up on your car like, ooh, I can't wait too later, you know? It ain't, it ain't that serious, you know what I mean? Yeah. Honey, put your drawers back on, you know what I mean? It's cool. They call me Big LA. Big Silly. Big Money. Big Billy. YouTube.com slash Tim Westwood TV.